Let's talk about comfort zone. Ironic, isn't it? Because if you were completely comfortable, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. You wouldn't have been interested in it. But most of us, we know that there is something, maybe a slight change, maybe a change of perspective that can help us to grow, to become something bigger. So in this video, I want to talk about why we feel this way, why sometimes we want to break out of our comfort zone. The things that keep us back and some of the strategies that I've explored to make change happen. But let's back up for a second. Those breaking out of the comfort zone doesn't always have to be the grandiose changes that we think about, like moving to a different country or starting a completely new career. Sometimes it can be the little things that can still hold us back, like starting a new exercise regime or switching jobs or stopping to eat chocolate like I did four weeks ago or maybe do something different like today filming this video here in beautiful nature rather than in the comfort of my YouTube studio at home. So when I left the first job that I really loved and those elevator doors closed for the last time, I was devastated. Would I ever find something that I love again? Would I ever find something that plays to my strengths like this particular job has? So there can be many questions why maybe you want to break out of our comfort zone. Maybe you are currently following a path that isn't your own. Whatever it is, here is a great sentence that helps you determine why you feel the way you do. What would have to change in your current environment to make you feel completely comfortable? When you can answer that question, you're a step closer to understanding why maybe you want to break out of your comfort zone. Now, of course, we need to understand what holds us back. Is it financial security that bothers us? Is money a factor? What about a sense of belonging, to feel valued and aligned with those around you in belief and in intellect? You, of course, want to feel a certain self-esteem, playing to your strengths and growing. And of course, you do want to do something that's worthwhile doing. You want to self-actualize. At the beginning of our journey, we don't know how these questions turn out. But understanding what holds you back helps you to address those fears. You can do some research, for example, about how much you would earn in a new job. You could do some research about the people in a new country that you want to move to, or maybe, as myself today, explore what it is to film outside and sometimes having to turn the camera off because there's planes going over or people walking by. But once you understand what's holding you back, you're far more likely to find a solution for that as well. And once you have understood why you feel that way and the fears that are holding you back, of course, now is the time to take some action. The key principle for me is do what fits your personality. And I look at action in three different buckets. The first is around people. What about the people that I'm surrounding myself with today? Are they supporting me in the things that I want to do? Or is there a group of people I can associate with that can help me understand better where my future lies? For example, when I started to think about becoming a commercial airline pilot, I was doing flyouts with people who had private licenses, who enjoyed flying as much as I did at the time. And so we had conversations and of course I learned a lot having those conversations. Again, do this in line with your personality. Maybe you love big group meetings and meetups. Maybe you are more comfortable connecting with people online. Or you want to have one-on-one -on -one conversations or you feel more comfortable maybe in a seminar where you can learn something together with other people. Whatever suits your personality type, but connect with the type of people that will help you to understand how your future looks like. The second thing to consider when taking action is what product do you have? And by that I mean what do you actually want to achieve and accomplish? And in that nothing that you do will likely be completely new. It'll exist in some shape or form, so it's important for you to understand what makes you unique. What are your specific traits and skills that make you stand out from the rest of the people? And the more you know that, the more confident you grow to take action. And the final part about taking action is the process itself. How do you want to go about change? 
And again, this very much depends on your personality type. Take me, for example, when I wanted to do flying as a commercial career, first of all, it took me two years to actually decide that. But when I did, I stopped everything else and I put 100% of my energy into that. And that's a very risky strategy. And that may not fit your personality type. Maybe you like to start building it up as a side hustle, as something that you do on the side. And once you feel confident in it, then you can move on and spend more time on it and maybe spend a little bit less time on your day-to-day -day job. Again, what I'm saying is make sure that the process of change also fits your personality type. This video is titled Building the Courage to Break Out of Your Comfort Zone. It's not titled Have the Courage to Break Out of Your Comfort Zone. And that's for a very good reason, because change is a very elaborate process. Sometimes we don't even see how long the process takes. As I mentioned before, I took two years to just decide that I wanted to do commercial flying as a career. And that's okay, that was part of the change. So don't be afraid that sometimes it takes longer. We all are influenced by people who we see. We see Instagram posts and Facebook posts of people who tell us they've just joined YouTube and have so many subscribers and they are so happy. But what we don't see is their struggle. What we don't see is what led up to the point. And so don't feel discouraged by sometimes change taking a long time. Sometimes change is quite invisible because a lot of things happen in your head to get comfortable with your decisions, to get comfortable with understanding what your fears are and to get comfortable with the way that you would like to achieve that change. When you do follow the steps in this video, you will become more aware of the path that is right for you. And that is something that I wish for you for the future. Until next time.